motivation of proposals. Um, maybe it would be interesting for them to know how, uh, in your own example, okay. you uh, improved your English. I improved my English? Yeah. First of all, I learned a lot of vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Grammar is a rule because without grammar, you cannot uh, form any sentences and you should talk more. It talk doesn't more. necessarily mean you should talk to someone else. You can talk to yourself. Just record your voice, play it, find your mistakes, talk to yourself again. Do you take out? I took IELTS five years, sorry, five, almost six years ago. How much? How? So maybe I think they want to know how long did you study, yeah? Yeah. How long did I study? Yeah. I studied, well, my sister is an English tutor. Uh, that's why she taught me from my childhood. And, um, but not repeated, but not continuously. There was some like long break. But I really uh, started studying hard when I was on the first uh, level on, in Lyceum. So, two and a half years. Two and a half years. Well, how many times it, that were that you took IELTS? IELTS, I took it twice. First, it was 6.5, and the gap between uh, two examinations was like three months. And the next time, I took 7.5. Yeah, 7.5. Yeah. 7.5. Highs was uh, obviously speaking to yeah. speaking uh, for you. What's your current job? Uh, current job? Yeah. The coordinator of the university. Oh, it's nice. You are really being humanized. Let's ask questions. It's free. 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 It did help you to improve your writing score. To improve my writing score, well, I wrote a lot. I wrote every day, like three essays. Uh, and obviously a good tutor. How can you know about your mistakes? My mistakes? Yeah, do you just repeat it, reading it again and again, or just you checking it with writing. your... Yeah, writing. My tutor showed me my mistakes. So I wrote, 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 wrote again and again, again and again. Maybe thousand essays. Like mm. within two or three years. I love you. It was eight. It was eight. At that time, yes. So it was six years ago. So I was level two in my team. Second course. Where did you start? Yes. Where did you start? When did I start? Well, what? Where you studied for applying for your current job? Okay. Where did I start? Where? Okay, where did they study? Yes. Do you know Lola Karuna? Okay, she was a tutor in uh, the institute. So she is now currently in Tashkent. She doesn't live here anymore. So I went to her. She was really knowledgeable and she was really powerful. But she's not here anymore. So she taught me everything. What? Well, which university did you study for applying for your current job? Job. Yeah. I started yeah. Yes. And I stayed and I remained at Westminster. Did you want scholarship? No, 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 no. At that time, the rules have changed in Westminster. This is very, very uh, special moment. At that time, uh, five years ago, if a person wanted to study in Westminster, exactly in scholarship, he would have to work for the university at some place for three years. So it means uh, the university uh, didn't give you a diploma at that time. So that's why I decided to choose self-finance version. So I entered, I graduated, got my diploma, got employed. But uh, during the time when I was studying in the university, uh, the rules have changed. So uh, the rules were you no longer had to work for the university for three years. If you enter the scholarship, if at that time the rules were like a little bit different, I would have chosen scholarship. Yes. You mean you had chance to choose, but you didn't, right? Yes. Yes. Because of working for three years. Three years. Yeah, I didn't want that. Uh, yeah. I didn't want that. Mm -hmm.
this topic did you have uh, for uh, writing in a What? Which topic did you Which topic? have? Yeah. Receive it. Uh, okay, I don't exactly remember. I guess it was the advantages and disadvantages of studying in your uh, domestic home country and abroad. That was the that, that was the question, main question. Your information is very good. How did you achieve? How did you achieve? How did you improve? Yes. You mean? So, I talk to myself. I talk to a lot of people. And uh, you should watch. This may sound very dull, but watch English movies. <laughs> You know, like, uh, you can learn a lot from movies, yeah. In order to improve it, you, you know, everyone has mistakes, it? and how did you know about your mistakes? How did I know about my mistakes? From your I, teacher? I recorded my voice. And listened? Listened to it again, and I gave it to my tutor, and she listened to it again, and she... She finds this... So feedbacks, maybe, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, she gave feedbacks, mistakes, and corrected them. So, uh, so obviously you work in the uh, instruction of like teaching uh, business. So what do you think uh, is number one uh, should we call it mistake that's holding students back? That's holding yeah. Hmm. That's motivation. Motivation. <laughs> motivation. It's not just a mistake. There should be a great example. Uh, well, the role of parents in students' performance. It's really, how can I say, significant as well. Important. Yeah. Really significant. I cannot say just do whatever you want. There are principles, there are rules of the family, yeah. there are possibilities, uh, financial limitations, a lot of things. Just, uh, but you can never be uh, upset for something you didn't achieve and for something you didn't try hard. First, try hard. Then fail, then be sad. Well, Try hard, then achieve. <laughs> That's well, motivation. Just study hard, listen to yourself, record your voice for your uh, speaking, uh, for improving your speaking. Record your voice. Uh, watch a lot of movies. Uh, talk to your classmates, course mates. But uh, in order to speak uh, in a professional way, you need to have vocabulary. You need to have grammar, that's why. Because a lot of people think without learning grammar, they can speak fluently in one month. That's impossible. So that's why grammar is a rule. Well, how was your listening score? My listening score? Yeah. It was 8. First, at first? No, no, no. At first it was 7 or 6.5. Well, you said the gap between two examinations were 3 months. Yeah, yeah? 3 months. And how would, could you improve them in How just three months? Well, I First was 6.5 and yes. then 7.5. 7. One band upper. No, 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 no. Three months. Three months? Yeah, one seven. band upper. Yes, one upper. That's possible. How? I just, just three months. Really you had. Yes. You, really I, hard? I, what I, does you it know, mean? My parents were so rough, uh, they wouldn't let me sleep. Yeah. If they saw me <laughs> sleeping, they were like, hey, get up. Do your, Just do. Do your lessons. That's how I achieved everything. Well, thanks to my parents, thanks to the motivation of my ex colleagues, let's say. Well, Just help each other, help each other, and achieve everything together. That's well, my motivation. Um, I would like to ask something a little about your listening. Well, how we can improve our listening? By working on sections or just listening to podcasts or in other ways. Podcasts? Mm. Well, speaking helps you to listening too. So uh, you should listen more and you should know the some like exact way of pronunciation of words. Well, how? So vocabulary helps too. Uh. You should listen a lot. That's the, that, that, that's the I mean, key factor. That's all. Well... True, we listen, but what kind of way can be preferable for us? Preferable for us? Well, or more optimal there. choice. What? More optimal choice. More optimal choice. For, for everybody, there are like different optimal choices. For whatever what is preferable about? for you, it's not preferable for him or for them. Well, I would like to know about your, your 
Mine, twice. I got really upset, and uh, the last IELTS exam was like three months, and I had to enter the university in that year, so I had no choices. The exam was three months, you know? There was no other uh, exam dates of IELTS. So I paid, and I was like, mm. you know, at that time there was like Facebook, and the class, and I deleted everybody. I didn't go outside, uh, and at least I did uh, five set of IELTS exams a day. So that means five listening, five reading, five uh, like different essays, five, you know? In a day. In a day. That so five, five full tests a day. Yeah, five full tests a day. Two tests. Do you pay for contract? Yes, I paid for my contract. As he had said oh, before. 30 million sums. Yes, currently. And it's going to be changed. Uh, yeah. 40 million sums. So never lose your hope, I guess, unless you get going. Uh, just believe in yourself, help each other out, talk to yourselves, record your voice, like, write a lot, listen a lot, watch English movies. That's the motivation, yes? What's your motto in your life? My motto in your life? Well, there are a lot of mottos in your life. I guess my motto in my life that uh, you can always thank God for close people you have in your life. That's my motto in my life. Thank, my you. Life. Yes. thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you. 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 Thank you.